Lads, what's going on, Gonfia? As usual, and today I've got a squad builder for you. I've been getting an overwhelming amount of messages on, on comments, messages on all my videos, telling me that they want me to do squad builders instead of having the squads on the on the screen already. I know I said I'd do it with hybrids. I put the team in with flat teams. I would have them on the screen, but too many people keep telling me they prefer me with all my teams just to. Do a sort of like a squad builder style and put the players in. So that is what I'm going to do. I've took your feedback on board as usual. And to make it a better viewing experience for you lot, I've done it this way. So uh, we'll start off with this Beastie Silver Premier League team. First up in goal, we've got this guy. D Wait, is that, is that Nepenthes? Mate, that, that's Nepenthes, man. <laughs> I'm not even joking. That looks, the, that's the spitted image of Nepenthes. It's crazy. But now, in goal, we have Donny, the Liverpool player. I suppose he's decent for a silver keeper if you ask me. I'm, I've not ever been a fan of silver keepers. They're very inconsistent. The handling is pretty shit normally. And uh, they can they, they can let in sloppy, just silly goals. But this guy's decent, I suppose. I only picked him up for around 9.6k. Freestyle weak foot, funny enough. And it also looks like Nepenthe. So that, that that's pretty funny. L leave a comment. Tell me what you lot think, man. But that, that's Nepenthe, if you ask me. Uh, first about that Basong. Not quite centre-back, but he does the job. Decent. Um, gets caught napping up the pitch so much. Uh, people get beyond my, my defense with this defense so much because they, this guy, he seems to like going for bursting runs for some weird reason. I'm not sure why. But um, defending wise, when he actually is in defense, he's a decent player. Picked him up for 31k. I think that is slightly overpriced for him, to be honest. Uh, next to him, though, we've got Mariapa. This guy's a beast, man. This, this guy's fucking beast. I've noticed all my defenders seem to always be black. That. I'm not racist, but I don't know why they always seem to be black. It just seems to be the black defenders that seem to be so beast for some weird reason. But this guy is just unreal. Picked him up for nearly 50 odd K, and trust me, he's worth it. He has 80 heading, 74 defending, 77 pace, and he has like 80 odd jumping as well. So when he, he wins literally every header, and he's just a fucking beast, man, trust me. Right back then, we got Whitaker. Um, not the fastest center uh, right back in the world, to be honest. He has only got 81 pace. But um, he's got 81 strength, funny enough, in game as well, and a four-star weak foot. So you know he's decent. He can clear the ball on any foot. Um, I picked him up because he has high defensive. No, he, does he have high defensive? I'm sure he has medium defensive work rate, which is better than having low defensive work rate. So he actually does get back a lot and help out. And I picked him up for about 6.9k, so a decent player. Left back then we've got Butner, probably probably one of my favourite players in this whole team. Would have loved to have picked up his inform card, but for some reason his inform card is like 400k. And I know that's that's not how much he's worth. I know he's only worth around about 170 to 200k max. But yeah, he's been price fixed and he's ridiculously over overpriced at the moment. So I've got his normal card. His normal card's pretty good. I mean, freestyle weak foot, freestyle skill moves. And he's just a brilliant defender. He's really, really good at doing his job as a defender. He's good at going forward. And he's just a really, really good all-around overall left back. I would probably have him in a goal team, to be to be honest, he's that good. And he's definitely worth 37k, so I'd pick him up if you've got the coins, lads. And you're making this sort of team. See the end, then we got Diakite. Now, this guy's funny, because defending-wise, he's very good. Soon as you try and even take the ball a few steps in front of you, he seems to have the heaviest touch ever. He cannot shoot, and his pass isn't... It's probably worse than 71. It's, it seems to be terrible. But defending-wise, he's really, really strong. Gets stuck in and he's aggressive. So a I suppose at doing his job as CDM is decent. I just wouldn't try going for any burst and runs of him to be honest. Uh, left mid then we have got Remy Sterling or Raheem Sterling even better. This guy apparently has shagged so many birds and has like three kids with three different women. I'm not sure if that's true. But on the football pitch he is such a little legend. Four star skill moves. Uh, three star weak foot. Picked him up for 150k. Very, very expensive. He was very rare at the start of this game. Not many were pulled in packs. But um, a good player. I think you took F4 potential. He's definitely more of a left wing player. But um, left, left mid, he does work. And he did score a few crackers for me. So uh, can't go wrong, really. Right mid, then we've got the big forehead. I mean, that is one alien spaced head. But um, <laughs> he's a good player. Good little player, Gabriel Obertam. Uh, he's very, very greedy in real life. But on this game, of course, he has four star, four -star skill moves. Freestyle weak foot, and he's quite tall as well, so he does win headers when needed. Um, funny enough, he does actually help out in defence as well, which I like my left and right mids to actually get back and help out. Uh, he does do that. Picked him up for 8.5k, and he's decent, I suppose. Decent at best. 
So the second mid then we got Delph or is that how you say his name? Delph? Fabian Delph. Uh, very, very good. I'm really impressed with this guy, man. He's so good at going forward. He's really, really agile and he's just got good footwork and stuff and picks out a nice pass. Seems to have decent passing. Picked him up for 28k. Unfortunately, he is only three star skill moves. I'd love my center attacking mids to be four star skills, but I have to deal with him. And uh, yeah, I was really pleased with him. A really, really good player. Then up top, we have got. You're probably going to see them both now for fuck's sake. Yeah, you are. First up, you're going to see King. Wow, man. Wow. I did actually do a save or splash the cash on these. You should you should have saw that yesterday. Oh, my. This guy is, like I've said, man, he's just a beast. I was so, so surprised how good he actually was. Worth every single penny of that 12.5k I paid. And that, I, he was only that expensive because I did get him in a 4 and 2 and 2 But, oh, my goodness. His shot is amazing. His pace is amazing. He's just an all-round beast. He's got 70 strength, so he's quite strong for a little guy as well. And I just really, really loved using him. What a player. And obviously, you've seen the man of the moment. What a guy, man. This is the fastest black guy you're going to see on FIFA to date. It is Gabriel Abonglaho. Wow, man. Wow. He is just... He's ridiculous, man. Let's just say that. He is the paciest pacer of the, in the world, man. 180k. To be honest, he was worth it. The amount of goals he scores for you... The amount of goals I, I, the amount of games I play against my mates and stuff, he just tears people apart. He is amazing. Loved him. Loved this whole team, lads. Very, very expensive. I, I think I paid at least over 500k for it. But a very, very, very good team. I really enjoyed using it, lads. So if you're going to pick it up, go out and pick it up. Give it a try. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. I'll leave you with some goals. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember, as always, to leave this a thumbs up if you have. That'll make me very, very happy. And I'll speak to you next time. Peace. Don't wake me up, don't wake me up, don't wake me up